Ophelia's Hotel and Events serves a good services and events like weddings, birthdays, prenup shoots, and many more. We are here to interview one of the entrepreneurs here in Bai City, the owner of Philly's Hotel and Events. So, so let's, let's go! High school under grade 12 section Aster by Mr. Ruel Toroy. So Philly's Pension House is owned by my parents, Lizelle Saldonido and Processo Saldonido. So catering business or having a function hall. So I would advise na every business has good. Every business has starts in small business. Promoting a business. We have the social media. You should also be a koan kanang game player. You should be a hero to your employees or to your colleagues. Your employees will not be competitive enough to achieve your goals, achieve the vision or the mission or the objective of your company. You should be the hero to them. I would say those people who are with age are the most koan, are the most loyal persons. Welcome mga future entrepreneurs! I'm Jamaria. I'm Axel. I'm Janine. I'm Cherry. And I am Blessel. And we are here at Philly's Hotel and Events. So, Philly's Hotel and Events serves a good services and events like weddings, birthdays, prenup shoots, and many more. Philly's Hotel is located at Glad Subdivision, Barangay Talungon, Bai City. But aside from that, we are here to interview one of the entrepreneurs here in Bai City, the owner of Philly's Hotel and Events. So, let's, let's go. go! Okay, good morning everyone. I am with my uh, lovely students here coming from Bai City National Senior High School under grade 12 section Aster by Mr. Ruel Toroy. So I am with them to interview because they are asked to interview one of the entrepreneurs here in Bai City. Give it up. Why did you decide to start your own business? I am going to tell you the story. Okay. So first is that um, my grandparents, both are my grandparents, uh, on my mother's side and my father's side, kay they are all koan yod ka ng work. Traders pa. They are koan trading livestock, they are trading vegetables. With my late grandmother, um, Maria Iay Saldunido, ka ng trader na siya o koan sa una, ka ng avocado. And then vegetables po, um, avocado from Negros to Cebu. Then vegetables around panasha around Negros. On the other hand, sa ako ang side sa ako mama, ako ang lola o ako lolo are both traders po sa ug vegetables from Kanlaon to Tanhay, from Kanlaon to Bahias, mo na sila. <clears throat> so later on, ang ilang children, one of their children, kay kana mura gi adopt po nila nga inana po ng pangita sa ilang kuan ba kanang parents. So later on, my parents both are into trading already. So my, uh, my mother into trading vegetables, then my father is into um, not quite uh, into trading directly, but um, in the ano na, ano, later, later years na siya na realize. So that's why I came up into uh, taking. Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship in Silliman University, Batch 2017, because um, Murag, it's like I'm obliged to, because parang Murag, it runs in our blood. Ba? Yeah. So the question is, why did you decided, why did you decide to start your own business? Because there are people, man God, who are, they always work, and then the cycle of their life is house or more of family, then after family, work, after work, 
balik na po sila sa puan, balay, then work na po, then balay, then work. Same cycle lang siya sa life pa. So, you're going to put a little bit of magic pa. Kaya ng nakaya business, then tapo kaya mura of uh, kikalingawan, kaya kalingawan man siya. So, um, Philly's Pension House is owned by my parents, Lizelle Saldonido and Processo Saldonido. So, after gradu- after my mother graduated culinary, uh, she decided to have a catering business or having a function hall, which um, that's we our original plan. But we decided to have it in a whole type of koan sub businesses nga kanang we have the function hall for the catering and then we also have the amenities we have the pool the ktv we also have the other uh function areas and we also have the hotel because in that way maybe there will be koan there will be weddings and then kanang mga guests sa koan couple kay murag lagyo na kistan and so they will decide to maybe kana perhaps ko ay check in in our hotel so mura na siya og it's like ko ay baka na mura og mura siya it's one stop shop gani nga dira na dira na nimo ang ko ay dira na nimo ang income so masikli mo income i don't know what's the exact um term na ana nga ko ay kana business how would you advise someone who is just starting their own business so i would advise na Every business has good. Every business has starts in small business good. So there are no koan businesses who starts kanang dagko. That na amang ganit there are there are those big businesses that start of big businesses. They they are already multi billionaires. But if you are um, a young entrepreneur, I would suggest you should start you should start small good. In that way, you will know the lessons. Uh, Morag, it's like a trial and error, ba? So if you are going to start big, you weren't able to kind of anticipate what will the business will go later on. Morag, it's a win or lose mangu siya. So later on, wala kabalo nga mahagbara de AC. It's kano mangu business? It's kano mangu ka ng morag survival ko an survival life mo siya. How do you handle uncertainty and doubt? How do you handle uncertainty and doubt? Um, yeah. In that manner, Manggo, this question is for those who are a pessimist person, pessimist um, in other manner nga ka ng mura o negative thoughts na ka ba. Uh, being a, an, an entrepreneur, <clears throat> you should always be a pessimist and op- optimist person. Um, you can never say that entrepreneurs should be pessimist all the time. You will undergo uncertainties. Kailang unyang di ko na kasi uncertainties and doubts. In that way, mangod kailang you will know ba nga kana in the future you will know nga kung saan ako ang kwan. Maybe ma sa yung pang ako ang decisions. Hala ang ako ang suppliers. Oh my god, my suppliers did not kwan did not deliver on time. Maybe he is going to deliver me kana ng products that are not. In good quality, you know, right? So you have the doubts, you have the uncertainties. Next thing, point, kana ng establishing a business, you also have a doubt spot. It's very natural to have doubts, to have uncertainties because kana ng it's like diving. It's ko an mang god. It's like diving without wings, pa. So if you dive, that's the time you will know if you can build a wings for yourself. Or maybe you fail to build wings for yourself, you will, ano, you will fall. It's like that. So you have uncertainties. So if you have that uncertainties, what are you going to do? You have to plan how to succeed your businesses. Okay, you will plan man nga. Ah, mo niya may tabo. Maybe wala makuha niya, mafail niya yun ano. Mas saan man yung makuha mafail? Muman niya yun naman gi huna huna before nga mafail siya. So you have to plan plan. How are you going to plan? survive it that's the time we have to deal with uncertainty and doubt what daily routines do you follow 
daily routines um in business man god there are different and there are different events and accommodation accommodation because of the hotel events because of our events um areas but what are our um daily routines first is every day good is not a hundred percent every day is not hundred percent kanang full house ba kanang dagang customers every day is not kanang naaji customer na apoy times pod sa among business nga naaji zero good siya pero dili na siya every kwan good every day na regular time nga ma zero ka So I would say, kanang every day our daily routine here is in the morning, literally yun kaya nga kaya nga routine every morning kay kaan kanang more clean up drive na mo sa every kaan na mo every corners sa hotel every corners sa kaan kaning sa establishment. Next is preparing of the arrival of our guests. Maingon man nato siya nga kanang paglimpyo is kanang it's a routine. I mean it's kana prepare preparation pero preparation it's not the only preparation for the guests we prepare for <clears throat> buta na to let's just say um housekeeping preparing for the housekeeping preparing in the kitchen preparing for the restaurant preparing how are you going to handle the customers how are you going to greet the customers and how are you going to um host them How are you going to handle them? It's like our um, daily routine preparation. After that, after the operation, after the whole day operation, we also do the clean up drive also. So <clears throat> after the customers left, uh, we make sure that everything is clean and everything is um, ready for tomorrow's another operation. How did you promote your business when it was just starting out? Um, in entrepreneur, we, we were taught how to promote it. We have different uh, modes of promoting a business. We have the social media, mm-hmm. we have the Facebook. What's the one social media? Na to? Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. Kanang ka TikTok. 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 And then, mura og dili naman good kayo. It's not popular nowadays. Those koan kana promotions na magsend ka o emails sa customers directly. It's very old, old and 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 popular na koan kana way. We also have um tarpaulins, posters which are already um old style already old style already na na po word of mouth. Word of mouth meaning um you are going to invite your Uh, close friends here, and then they are going to spread the virus. <laughs> It's like that. So um, in business, mango, there are kanang more specific na promotions ng imbuhaton. So if um, if imong standing sa business establishment ni mo is a hotel, how are you going to promote it? Lisod po if imo siya ipuan. Lisod siya if imong magpuan ka og kanang posters or katong mga pamphlets at mga tagdi mo changi. Sure, baka nga ang kanang taga-changita na they are going to avail your services. It's like the positioning ba? Naman ko siya positioning good ang business. Kung kinsa dyan ang imong market, specific market na kuan. So, if kinsa yung specific market nga, imuhang expected nga i-handle. So, ato po ka dito nila ikuan. Kanang i-buto na to. I-hapak pa. So, our specific market here, uh, target, target market na to, are... Um, foreigners and government employees who are who are earning let's just say monthly but na to um 20 around 20 and above that's our target market but not above 100,000 per month okay those are already on a high end na customer na siya which we do not want but they are welcome here pero we cannot quite handle them because Murag para na, na para na, na sila sa kuan ka ng mga Boracay five, five star hotel din. Mm-hmm. True. So, how did we promoted it? We promoted it in Facebook and then word of mouth. How do you distinguish your business from others <laughs> in your industry? In business, we also have kanang competitors. So, we distinguish by distinguishing to others 
um, of our service or of our business, we always distinguish to what kind of specific quality ang ginahatag sa both parties. Among gihatag, then ang, ang gihatag po nila sa customers. Here in Baiz, Mangod, after we open, our competitors are those small businesses who are also into po an accommodation. We have the hostels, we have the lodgings. Pero lodgings are for po an mga short time po an short time <clears throat> um, guests, and then hostels are for short time po guests po who are kanang muraog travelers that they are want to they want to avail for a kanang short amount of time to sleep it's like that. Then we also have have the La Planta. Kaya open pa man ang, La Planta is open uh, mm-hmm. before the pandemic. La Planta. And then we have the Bolinao, but it's already far away from here naman. So we also treat them as our one, as our competitor. And also, <clears throat> we also have the Casa Margarita. Casa Margarita is ano, earning that time when we were opening. Before opening the business, we had students coming from Silaman University who were conducting a feasibility study if the business is going to be feasible, it's going to be kanang more og successful ba or can it's going to be working. We let them ano, study other competitors. There are certain qualities that we are we can compare to others. So that's why Naji compares on each and so, what I'm going to say is we do not compete to other customers. We compete to ourselves here. We compete to ourselves because if you are going to compete to others, after you are going So, if you are going to compete for yourself, every day, you are going to improve yourself more and more every day if you're going to compete for yourself. That's coming from... That saying is coming from ano, um, Miss ano, Grace Sisip of Dumaguete. It's one of my idols in, ano, in our industry. In your opinion, what characteristics should an entrepreneur have? You should have the cap- capability of koan, kanang, dealing with different personalities. Mm-hmm. You should have finances, mangod, or money is the major uh, resources that na I am going to include that one. You should also be a koan kanang game player. If you are going to koan god in Mobile Legends, uh, it's in, in in a game, it's a win or lose. So it's like a business, it's a win or lose. It's up to you if you are going to if you are going to koan ba kanang, if you are going to play the game. So that means well, There will there will be no there will be no koan, there will be no income. If you are going to play there are instances that um, it's not a bed of roses, manggod nga. Kanang, after having a business, magpungko na lang ka, magmando na lang ka. Uh, there are those businesses, manggod nga, ingin ana. Pero th- those are, ko ana, uh, those businesses are already kanang sturdy businesses. For those businesses who are still starting, more about na to, two to three years pa ang businesses, um, those koan owners should be koan kanang, kanang hands on. So you are going to play the game. It's a win or lose. So you are going to koan. You are going to deal with different problems. You are going to deal winnings. You are going to deal with koan. You are go- going to deal with those customers who are very tired, who are very stressful. So hence. Na ajuche ko ah, na ajuche kanang makaingon siya ka nga. It's not always, it's not always kanang a normal day yun. Next is kanang you should be a hero to your employees or to your colleagues. How and why? Because if your colleagues or employees cannot rely on you, na you are going to commit success. Therefore, kanang your employees will not be competitive enough to achieve your goals, achieve the vision or the mission or the objective of your company. You should be the hero to them. Mura siya og kanang 
kasandigan in our vernacular, kasandigan sa imong mga employees nimo. Next is that uh, you should be strict. You should have discipline to yourself in a way that uh, you should stick to the plan that you planned. We have, kwan mga God, we have plan A's and plan B's or plan C's or about plan Z's. Nadyo na siya. Pero there are, kwan mga God, there are those times that those plans will not work. So you should be proactive enough Another characteristic na siya sa koan ka ng entrepreneur nga. You should be proactive enough to know what will be the actions you are going to take when it, when it comes to um, very complex instances sa imong business nila. Which business management lessons have you learned the most from? And, ano, a big chunk yun sa business is I learned in um, human resources, in human resources management. Um, you can never say that your employees will stick on you. I would say those uh, people who are old or not literally nga old yun ha, kanang older than those who are already graduated in um, in certain industries, fresh graduates, I would say those people who are with age are the most koan, are the most loyal persons. Why? Because they are, they work so hard because they have obligations. They have their kids to feed. They have kids to, uh, to pay for their tuitions. Hence, they need the work. They are very loyal to you. For those um, fresh graduates, um, they will only stick to you for about uh, less than a year or maybe pinaka lower, less than a month. More than a year is already a uh, long enough for them because um, those fresh graduates are only there for you to have experiences that they are they can put to their resumes. So I would say handling a an employee is very hard because a lot of uh, fresh graduates will just resign because they don't already like the works and their um what they do here. Those people are very good. They don't usually uh, follow the rules and regulations in our hotel. So I should say handling an employee or handling employees is very hard. So I learned that you should always you should always stick to your objectives to have your business successful. <laughs> yeah. What is the importance of manpower or employees in running a business? It's very important. Why? Very important ang employees because they are your assets, as they say. They are not your expenses. Meaning, dili na sila mo yung kanang gisildoan ni mo, then after papawin sa balay. Gisildoan ni mo, then after they are going to work, what is uh, their specific um, job description they have. They are your asset means you value them um, mentally, physically, let's just say that way, and you, val you value them as humans because karam, they are your warriors, mga God. So if your warriors will not fight for you, meaning the empire will burn out the empire will i uh, know the empire will be dead so you have to be there for them you have to support them and then you have to you have to reward them because that's their ano mga that's their happiness that's their kanang boost up of koan kanang mora og quality sa ilang work nila if they work hard means you are going to pay them pay them well you are going to give them the reward that they uh, deserve. 
I should say that your employees are your image or are your the the face of the business that you have right now because they are going to play the game for you. They're going to win it for you to be successful.